What's up, you wonderful people? Thank you for taking time out of your day to uh, watch one of my videos. I know your lives are important and you got things to do that are uh, a little more pressing than this, but I do greatly appreciate the support you guys give me, the viewers, um, the views, the uh, subscribes, the likes, um, the comments, everything. Uh, it is all greatly appreciated, so thank you. If you're new and haven't ever watched my channel before, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. One of those three, and if not one of those three, I hope you at least enjoy it. I hope you have a good time watching it and maybe... Uh, you're liking it enough to uh, give me a thumbs up or a subscribe, but uh, hopefully it doesn't waste your time. So I wanted to jump into this video real quick because it was something that was requested by me via email from a gentleman, and he wanted to know about scratch pads on BSPWM. Um, and so I used to run BSPWM very briefly. Um, if you've watched my channel for any period of time, you know I'm kind of a window manager aholic, and so I've kind of hopped around and tried. I can't count how many dist or how many uh, window managers, um, and BSPWM was one of them. It wasn't one of my favorites, but um, I do have it on my system. It's pretty basic because I don't use it, but I figured let's just go ahead and get a video together of creating a, scr a scratch pad for BSPWM. So if we go ahead and launch a terminal here, and let's zoom in, and if I do echo, and then we do the dollar sign, and we say desktop, underscore session and we hit enter you can see I'm using BSPWM um, now there's not really any reason for me to do that to show you that I'm sure you guys are all um, gonna believe me when I say we're doing this in BSPWM especially since we're gonna be editing the BSPWM RC file but you know I just thought what the heck an extra little tip there to see what you to show you how to check what desktop session you're running um, let's clear the screen again and what we're gonna do is BSPWM works really similar to Herb's Luft, which is my daily driver um, they're both um, run by a, by a script, a shell script. Um, I'm not sure about BSPWM, but I know Herb's Lift, you can write it in Python, you can write it in whatever, and just um, use the right shebang to call it. Um, but they are similar in the fact that they both um, run off of scripts, and also that they both use clients to have for uh, window control. Uh, Herb's Lift uses Herb's client, and BSPWM uses BSPC. Um, so what we need to do to get a scratch pad up and going on BSPWM is we need to create a script. So let's go ahead and CD into my scripts directory. Um, now you can put this anywhere you want to in your file or in your file system. Um, uh, you just have to be able to call it and have it executable. But I keep all my scripts kind of in one uh, one directory here, and that's my dot local scripts directory, and that is uh, attached to my path. So that way I can just run things from this directory. Um, so basically what I need to do is I need to create a script, so I'm going to vim, and I'm going to call it scpad, that's what, um, I figure that's a, that's a good name for it, it'll just be scratch pad, um, and so that'll be nice and easy to remember. And so what we need to do is go in here and we need to have a shebang, so we're going to do shebang, and I'm going to say bspwm scratch pad. And so now that we have a shebang and we have a little uh, disclaimer, or not disclaimer, but a description of what this project is and when it was created, um, let's go ahead and get started with it. Um, first thing we need to do is we're going to be using a tool called XDo tool in uh, this script. Um, XDo tool is a tool that uh, you can use to control windows. Um, it's real similar to WMCTRL, which I have on one of my other scripts. Um, but this one we're going to use XDo tool. It's a great tool. Um, I highly suggest you check it out if you have never heard of it. So if you don't have it installed, you're going to need to install it. Um, real simple to install. All you'd have to do is, uh, like I'm on um, void, so I do sudo xbps-install-s, and I would do xdo tool. Um, if you're on, if you're on uh, Pacman, if you're on Arch, you do Pacman xdo xdo tool, and and if you are on uh, Debian, you could do apt install xdo tool so whatever package manager you're on you, you should just be able to install it from your repository that shouldn't be an issue um, that's I'm just guessing I've used arch and it's in there um, I've used void and it's in there um, I haven't used Debian very very long um, I did use mint for a while but I'm pretty sure it's in there if not you know you can find it on github and I'll, I'll put a link to it in my description but um, again it's xdo tool so let's go ahead and write our script so first what we need to do is we need to um, declare a variable that's going to be our um, scratch pad name so I'm gonna do win class because this is we're gonna uh, this is gonna be the uh, window class that we're gonna use xdo tool to look for and that's gonna be equal to and we want it to be xdo tool and we want to search and we want class 
So we are going to be searching for XDo tool is going to search for a certain class of window. And that class we're going to call it SCPAD. And then we are going to uh, end that. So we have um, the window we're going to be looking for. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to say if, and we're going to say dash Z, and we're going to go, oops, um, win class. So if we don't have this, then we are going to launch kitty and we're going to give it the class of scpad so that way when we launch kitty it's going to do scpad and then once we do that we want else and we are going to actually let's get this up there we're going to clean things up a little bit here um, Sorry, I'm a little. Um, so then else we are going to say if, and we're gonna say we do not have a file, and we need to create a file, we need to create a place for the scratch pad to go when we hide it. So we're gonna do a, in our temp directory, we're gonna make a file called scpad. Um, so it's gonna check and see if that file exists. If that file does not exist, then we are going to touch which is going to create that file so we're going to create tmp slash scpad and we are going to xdo which is going to run the xdo tool we're going to hide and we're going to hide the window that we've just created this win class right here which will be kitty with the class scratchpad so so far, what we're going to do is we're going to declare our scratch pad window. We're going to check for that. If we don't see it, then we're going to launch it. And then, um, otherwise, we are going to look for this file. If we do not see this file, then we are going to create it and we're going to hide our scratch pad there. And then, elif, I don't know why we're, um, oops, we want to check and if that file does exist then what we're going to do is um, boy I'm fifth we're going to remove that file I don't want to boy I'm sorry it's uh, it's been a long day we're going to um, remove that file and then we are going to X do <laughs> show and we are going to show that window and then we are going to fire fire so let me make sure here let me read this real quick and just make sure we got everything okay so we got a shebang up there we've created okay so we've created the wing class it's going to be equal to that there. So what I want to do is, I know this isn't really necessary, but okay. So we're going to create that. So then if we don't see that kitty window, then we're going to create it. Otherwise, if we do see it, then we're going to check for this file here. Um, if we don't see that file, then we're going to create it and we're going to hide our window there. If we do see it, we're going to remove that file and we're going to show our window. So basically what this does is creates the window, looks for this file, so it can then hide or show our window depending on whether or not this file exists. So I think that is good. So let's write and quit and let's ch mod plus x and then we're going to do sc pad. So now we have an executable. So now what we need to do is let's clear the screen and let's cd into bspwm. So you can see I just cd'd into my home jake.config bspwm. And let us go ahead and vim into the bspwmrc. Um, and what we need to do there 
is we need to now create um, a rule for our scratch pad. And so remember, if you remember what I said, the uh, uh, BSPWM uses BSPC to control windows um, as opposed to the whole BSPWM program. So what we need to do is these are some of our rules we already have set up. We have some config stuff going on here for BSPWM. Um, that's in a different video. I do have a video setting up BSPWM this far. Um, so I can link that in the description as well. So you can kind of check that out too. Um, these are some rules for like GIMP and Chromium and, and Player 2 and Coopfer, whatever. These are basically um, generic rules that are automatically in BSPWM when you run it or when you install it. So we're going to go ahead and create our own. So we're going to do B, oops, we are going to insert and we're going to go BSPC and we're going to do rule dash A and we're going to do SC pad because this is the window or the class we want to make a rule for. And we're going to say sticky equals on because we want the window sticky. We're going to say state, we want it to be floating. So we're going to make it a floating window. And then rectangle, we want it to be, um, this is where we set the size of the window and the location of the window. Now the first two numbers I'm going to give, let's just say, let's do um, uh, 800 by, let's say 400. So that's going to be the size of the rectangle. It's going to be 800 pixels wide, 400 pixels high. And then we want to put the location on the screen. So we're going to do plus, and let's do 250. And then we're going to do plus and do 250, not 205, 250. So we're going to escape, and we're going to write. So now we have a rule that says anytime scratch pad is launched, SC pad, it's going to be sticky, it's going to be floating, and it's going to be this size right here, and it's going to be in this location. So 250 and 250. So it's going to be 250 and 250. So it should be somewhere in this ballpark right here on our on our screen. So let's go ahead and write and quit. And now we need to create a key binding for it. And if you're not familiar with BSPWM, it doesn't control its own key bindings either. Um, it uses a program called Simple X Hotkey Daemon or SXHKD. So let's vim into sxhkdrc, and if we hit enter, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go down to the bottom of our file here, and let's go ahead and create a key binding that will allow us to launch that uh, that um, script we just created. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a key binding, and the syntax in SimpleX.KeyDaemon is really simple, so we're going to do Alt, because that's my mod key usually, um, you can see up here it's super, um, again this is because this is just a basic generic installation of BSPWM, I haven't gone through and changed anything because I didn't use it for very long, it's not one of my favorite window managers, although I will say in figuring all this out, it is um, it is kind of impressed me a little more, so I might play around it in a little bit, but that being said, we're going to use Alt as our mod key and then you just do plus and we're going to do return so this will um, when I press alt return we will have it uh, launch now I have it in my path so I could just type out the name of the script but if you don't have it in your path you're going to have to write it out like this so scripts and then sc pat so that's all there is to that. So now when I reload my SimpleX hotkey daemon and I reload my BSPWMRC, we should be able to launch a scratch pad in this location because it's just going to call that script that we um, just created. So now to if we scroll up, um, you can see right here, reload configuration file for SimpleX hotkey daemon is alt escape. So if I press alt and escape, that should have reloaded my SimpleX hotkey daemon RC. So let's, uh, oops. Alt and escape now that we're not in insert mode. Actually, let's write it and then do alt and escape, Jake. Maybe do things in order. That usually makes things work a little better. So now, let's go ahead and write and quit. And let's, um, I believe, uh, well, let's go back in there because I don't remember what reload my configuration file for um, uh, BSPWM hotkeys. Alt control R. So this alt control r is going to reload my BSPWM RC file. So if I do alt control r, that just launched my, or relaunched my um, BSPWM instance. 
And so now if we go to a different workspace, when I hit Alt Enter, I should launch a scratch pad. And like I said, it should be up in this general area up here somewhere. So let's go ahead and press Alt and R. And there we go, we have a scratch pad. Now if I type this is a scratch pad and I press Alt and return again, it goes away and it comes back and it goes away. So perfect. So our scratch pad script works. It does uh, spawn a window and it does hide it when we need it to. So let's go ahead and go back over here. Let's quit that um, and let's go and go to our BSPWMRC again real quick. And let's go ahead and jump back down here and let's change the location and the size of it just to show you how this works. So if we go in here and instead of 800, let's do 1200 and let's do 1200 by 600 and let's put this at um, 500 and let's say 600. So that should change the location of it. Let's write and that should change the size of it and do Alt Control R. And let's go back over here and let's launch that again. And now you can see it has moved and it has changed sizes. Now, well, you really wouldn't want it all the way down there, but you can see just how easy it is to set it up and to change it. Um, one key binding will launch your script and hide it and show everything. And then you can just close it like any other normal window and then you can relaunch it again. And so, yeah. That's the way you go about setting up a scratch pad on BSPWM. Um, it's pretty simple actually, just like Herb's look, you know, you get a script going and you make a rule for it and away you go. So I hope uh, this helps you out. Um, I'm not going to mention your name on camera. I don't know. Some people like that. Some people don't. Um, but I hope this is what you're looking for and I appreciate you taking the time to contact me and hopefully um, this answers your question. So if anybody else has any issues or questions or anything like that, feel free to shoot me an email, leave me a comment, whatever you need. Um, if if I can help you out in any way, shape, or form, I will definitely do my best to do that. Um, if I can't help you out or if it's not something I'm familiar with, um, one of two things will happen. Either we'll try to muddle our way through it anyway, or I will let you know, hey, that's just a little above my pay grade. Um, I'll look into it, but I won't promise you anything. So that being said, I hope you found this video interesting um, or helped you out a little bit, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and God bless.